Real Animals Fishing Show is presented by Yellowfin Yachts. Last night, Billy and I stayed at the Guy Harvey Outpost on St. Pete Beach. This morning, we jumped in the car and made a short run down to Sarasota, Florida. We're fishing with our good friend, Captain Rick Grasset. The fishing's been unbelievable in Sarasota. Whatever you guys do, don't touch that dial. It's going to be off the hook. Captain Rick took us on a short little run. We ran out of Big Pass from the boat ramp. We ran out here on the beach. It's late summer here. We've had a really great bait hatch and a lot of the fry bait that's been inside and just offshore is now kind of congregating on the beach. And that brings a lot of Spanish mackerel, bluefish, jacks, bonita, uh, a lot of action fish to the beach area. And that's what we're hoping to get here this morning. We got birds working. We know there's some fish here, but they're not really showing right now. So maybe as the sun comes up a little bit, they'll show a little better or we'll change gears and go do something else. We'll see, but beautiful, beautiful morning. Probably 75 to 80 degrees this morning. We got a light breeze, just a gorgeous, gorgeous fall morning here on Sarasota Bay. They're in front of us, guys. Got him, fish on. Nice. Top water's where it's at, baby. I love that stuff. He's running at me, though. What you got, Billy boy? Little Jack. Little Jack. Jacks are better to open. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Man, they are such a cool fish. That is a cool fish. They are. And the thing about it is, is they go from this size up to gargantuan, you know? One thing about this, you got treble hooks on here. You want to be, oh, Rick's uh -oh. on. That's it, I was trying to be polite and let Billy get his fish off, but if Rick's fishing, I'm fishing. Hey man, don't be polite. <laughs> that ain't how we play. You better you better get some while you can, pal. Oh, there we go, Mike. Ooh. Something blowing up on you? Yeah, you hooked Ooh, up? Yeah, something, something blew right up on the end of his line. Great. What you got, Mickle? All that, all that, Rick. Hey, Is look. that Was that a jack? It was a jack. Something ate it. Oh yeah. Something ate it. Something ate the jack, yeah. Look at that. That's what all that drag screaming was. Something, oh, yeah. Oh, dude, that was a big toothy critter there, pal. That looks yeah. kingfish-like. It yeah. does. I don't, think it, I don't think it was a shark. A shark would have got it. Yeah, I think that was kingfish. Yeah. Look at the side ooh, 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 of that ooh. jack. Oh, man, did he get punished. That's the cool part about being out here on the beach. You got all this action going on. You never know what's going to happen. You don't know what you're going to see. You don't know what you're going to catch. Wow. This is a Spanish here. Nice. Yep. Another species. Again, just like I said, the beach, you just don't know what you're going to catch out here. There's all kinds of stuff going on out here. Exactly. We got a lot of holidays getting ready to come up. Kitties will be getting days off from school, stuff like that, you know? And what a good way to bring kids in and introduce them to fishing because, I mean, it's very visual. The action's fast and furious. And rather than taking your kid out trying to catch that 20 pound snook, you know, if you're wanting to introduce them, they get bored pretty quick. That's why Rick brought us out here. <laughs> Whenever you're fishing these big schools of stuff with teeth, Strike King makes a great bait. It's called the Redfish Magic 4-inch Glass Minnow. And the cool part about it is it's an Elastec material. And if you'll see what I can do with this piece of plastic, it's unbelievable. A lot stronger than a lot of the company's plastics on the market. So you catch a lot more fish on this Elastec product. One of my favorite baits right here. You put it on a jig head, make it do its thing, it'll last you almost all day if you're lucky. I got something. What you got? Mike, Mike's putting on it. What is this, the Captain Mike show? Trizzle. That bees a trout. You need a D hooker there, yeah, big guy? Yeah, here we're going to use the D hooker. All right, I'll get it for you, boss. Oh, oh boy. Rick. Whoa, Rick, Ooh. you got a lot there, buddy. I don't know what you have, Slam but I want it. I think it's our friend, the sail cat. Oh, no, is it? <laughs> yeah. A bunch of them. Are, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's head shaking like the sail cat. Mm. Big old sail cat. 
We have a visual. I got one too. We hit the ladyfish. <laughs> Hang on, Rick. <laughs> Bluefish, trout, ladyfish, sail cat. There you go, Daddy. Yes, sir. This flat is alive with action. Man, I tell you what, those top water strikes are just so awesome. Incredible. Now, that's service with a smile that's, right there, pal. You don't get that every day. Billy's usually like, hey, get your own. <laughs> Closed captioning brought to you by Gator Ford. And what we did early this morning, we ran out on the beach. There's been some bonita mackerel stuff out there. We caught some jacks. Uh, I think we had a real big bonita on. Captain Mike had a, a jack and something humongous grabbed it and just took off running with it. Cut it pretty bad. Then it kind of slowed down. We had the tide change out there. So we came inside here and just started throwing around some jigs, top water plug. Um, Mike's already caught a couple of fish. Rick's got one. I have one on, and it's a pretty good day to be alive and a good day to be down here with Rick Grass at fishing on Sarasota Bay. It's awesome. There ain't nobody home here. You gotta be a creature of opportunity. There ain't no doubt. That's right. working some of these markers here inside Sarasota Bay that are lining this deep flat. There's a chain that goes down to a concrete base that holds these markers in place. And a lot of times, triple tail and other fish will hold on that structure. So Captain Rick just wants to make a couple passes here and see if we can get lucky. Looks like he got some good nervous water up tight, right where the bird just, oh, man. Wow. pelican just dove in. What you got, Mike? I don't know. Well, trout. Trout. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> First cast. Nice. Oh, came off, Billy. Perfect Oh, nice. Release. Good job. Good job. Boy, I hit him right on the head. Did you get him? Mike's hooked up. What you got, Mike? I don't know, but I hit him right on the head. Whatever <laughs> you hit him on the head, whatever it Literally, was. the minute I hit the water, he ate it. Where you at? I don't know what it is, but he jumped on it the minute like it hit the water. Little jack. That's what's making all that havoc up there is all little jacks. They are fun on that white tackle, are chasing they? all the bait on this flat. They actually just gang up on the bait. They're like little deep. marauders, huh? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him, got him, got him. What do we got? Little mighty mite. Coming at you. That there, my friends, is a lizard fish. He does have teeth. He will bite you. But if you look at him, he's just right for a hot dog bun. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And he took my tail off. I hear y'all use a D-hooker and we'll just grab that's why, I went, see that's why I went to that other bait, Billy. Because them swimming caffeine shads are just going to get mauled in here. Yeah, there's teeth in there. Real animals. Whoa. So what we got here is a bar that runs east and west and it drops off into deeper water. Some uh -huh. really nice potholes here. And the tide moves across the end of it. So, I mean, yesterday I fished this spot and we caught trout. We caught bluefish caught some jacks nice. and then right over here uh -huh. just a few hundred yards we ran into a big school of reds which which nice. I'm hoping that we'll run into them again and oh. it was so subtle because we had a ripple about like this right and it was just the littlest push against it uh -huh. almost like a boat wake and you just could tell and they were there we huh? eased up on it you could see the color and and they were there and they okay. had they had jacks and uh, bluefish mixed Everything with. Makes them. nope you got a fish oh dude did you get, oh man. Hey, anybody can catch them in the mouth. I it's got really the belly hook fin fish. So you guys need live bait, just let me know. It's really hard to catch them. <laughs> That's right. It takes talent. That's how I ended up with Billy. <laughs> He'll right in the side of the head. <laughs> what you got, Mike? I don't know. A fish? Another trout. We got a trout. Rick, how was your trout fishing? Our trout fishing on Tampa Bay this year was fantastic. Oh, nice release, it's, buddy. Very good here, too. Very good. Jackalicious. They are just, I mean, a fish that small to be that strong, dude, they are just brutes. Absolutely brute. We call these bridge permit. Bridge permit? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. They are fun, fun fish. Call him right in the chin. 
And if you look on the sides of these fish, they got what I call their jack buttons. I hear him talking. You grab him right there and then he'll lay still for you. It feels like a triz out. Oh, it's a trout. Decent little trout. You got one too? You can tell that's where they're at out here, a little deeper yep. water. Look at that guy. I got a spanny mac. You got a spanny mac? Sweet. Let's let this guy go. I'll get the D hooker and get us both, Mike. A little Spanish mackerel. Okay. Rick, can you hand me that D hooker? Sure here, can. Pretty you fish. Or a scholar and a gentleman. I don't care what Anderson said. Let this guy go. Ooh, slip it right over and then a little point. We got to get Mike's fish going here. Tell you what, man, this flat is just so alive with everything out here. In today's Real Animals Tackle Box, Billy and I are using medium heavy, fast action, seven foot, seven inch spinning rods, Quantum Cabo PT40 spinning reels with 15 pound braided line and 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. We're throwing Strike King quarter ounce and eight ounce jig heads in chartreuse and red, the Strike King Redfish Magic four inch glass minnows and five inch Zulus in pearl. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by Quantum the real choice for the real animals. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. 13 Fishing, make your own luck. Mirror Lure, the record setters. We have moved to a little bit shallower water. We're in about four, four and a half feet right here, maybe five feet. And we're working these outside bars right here. Again, lots of bait, lots of birds working. Captain Rick has had a lot of success here with trout, Spanish mackerel, jacks. Um, there's been a couple schools of big redfish laying out here in deeper water, which makes them a little harder to find, but when you find them, they're usually very comfortable, very ready to eat, so we're hoping to run into a couple of those big schools, and uh, we got a nice breeze. The weather's absolutely gorgeous. Conversation is excellent. It's an absolutely incredible day on the water. Man, when I lived in the Carolinas, I could not wait to get to Florida to catch a jack reval. I mean, the snook and all were awesome, but just what I'd seen on TV, with it, that's what I wanted was a jack. And then I got here and found out a lot of people cuss them, you know? And I'm like, why? They're awesome. I'll tell you, pound for pound. <laughs> they I mean, give you all you want. That's a little bigger one, Mike. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm just going to stand here and take fish off then. I mean, while well, you guys are getting them like this here, Rick. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, you did get it. Hey, you rascal. Dude, it's every cast right here, dude. Captain Rick Grasset bringing the heat. Here we go. All right, quick, let me see if I can hook another one quick. <laughs> Every cast. You got another one? <laughs> yeah. They're just jacks. I'm I coming, Mike. Jacks are better. <laughs> <laughs> that going it. See, now we have a good fishing show. <laughs> Mike's catching fish, Billy's taking them off. It's perfect. That's the way it should be, right? <laughs> oh. Ooh. This looks like a blue fish. A bluefish? Or a catfish. Definitely one of the two. Nice bluefish, bro. Nice. Real nice blue. Look at that. You huh? know, if you eat those, if you bleed them and eat them fresh, they're pretty good. Listen, I'll take your word for it. They are. They actually, they actually are. Spanish mackerel are delicious too, but I mean, you know, growing up in the Carolinas, this was one of our fish. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, what you had. And they're good smoke. Look at that guy. And he's got teethuses too. Yes, they do have Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> And he will bite you. Quit, wait, wait, wait. See, I acted like I did that by accident, but really Mike's just catching way too many fish, so I had to slow him up some. There you go, buddy. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, guys, let me show you one of the reasons why we chose Yellowfin to be our boat of choice. The wiring on these things is just incredible. Open up this hatch. Well, you can look at the wires, how it's just so tight in there. And every system in here is redundant to where if my switches aren't working outside on the console, I can come in here and manually do the uh, bait well pumps, bilge pump, lights, everything. These even has a backup battery system to where if my batteries go dead, the yellow button, the yellow switch on top, I can turn it and I got like an emergency boost or emergency jump for it. The wiring, I mean, you can just look at it and they say if you want to get, if you work at Yellowfin and you want to get fired, just have your screws going to where they're not at 10, 6, 3, and 9. 
because if you do that, you're out the door. And a company that takes that much pride and care in the presentation and the way their product looks and the way the wiring is, you know the rest of the boat's right. Rick's got a fish on. Oh boy. Feels like a small trout. Yeah, it looks like a Montana brookie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster. It's a monster, I tell you. Oh, look at that. Two, look, I got a trout, and the jack's trying to steal the food out of his mouth. Got something heavier? Yeah, yeah I think a nice it's a jack. jack. Oh, it's a jack? It mm -hmm. looks like it. Jack be nimble. Oh, and it's a belly hook jack. No wonder he's fighting heavy. Ferocious. What you got? Feels like a trout or a pinfish. Snapper. snapper! Sweet, check it out. Little mangrove snapper. Now you talk about, when this guy grows up, you talk about a good fish. Could it be the jackamus again? No, I don't think it's a jack, it may be. Yep, I tell you, those are strong fish, Ooh. man. I they get that one too. Oh, there you go, Mike. I think I Come on, Rick, too, get yeah. in the game, Rick. You're always hoping that's a pompano, though. <laughs> You're right. They keep hitting me, but I keep it can't. We're letting them go. They know it'll be popping out. That's right. Well, the Elastec material holds up so good. Oh, the one that the tail, but yeah. That's but I mean, how many fish have you caught on a that? A bunch. I've caught a bunch of fish, and finally, just now, lost the very end tail. That is good stuff, and they're even hard to get off the, the hook. This week's tip of the week is the Guy Harvey Outpost, a trade winds beach resort. Located on the award-winning white sands of St. Pete Beach, the Guy Harvey Outpost offers casual dining, two swimming pools, whirlpool, fishing, water sport adventures, and beach relaxation, along with the iconic artwork of Guy Harvey showcased throughout the resort. For a rewarding family adventure or just to relax, come to the Guy Harvey Outpost for an environmentally responsible and memorable vacation. From the oceans comes life. Enjoy the journey at the Guy Harvey Outpost in St. Pete Beach, Florida. And that's your tip of the week. Rick, I know ever since I've been guiding in the Bay Area, thir just over 13 years now, I know you've been guiding that long. How long total have you been guiding here on the west coast of Florida? It's been 23 years now. 23 years. Yep. Nice. The nice. first year I was a part-timer, just night snuck fishing and keeping my day job. And then uh, I got pretty busy pretty quick and uh, had an opportunity to guide full-time out of, out of the shop where I am now and just went for it and never looked back. Now you are a uh, fly fishing is kind of your specialty, kind of your thing. <laughs> Love to fly fish. Probably, probably you know, two-thirds of my clients are, are fly fishing, 60% or so. Okay, and you're Orvis endorsed. What does that mean exactly? Well, the shop where I am, which is called CB Saltwater Outfitters in Sarasota, is an Orvis outfitter. Great store, and too. Yep. They have uh, guides associated with them, which are then Orvis endorsed guides. Okay. You've got to meet a set of criteria that, that Orvis uh, you know, lays out for you. Okay. I want to thank you for taking us out today. Ever since I Thanks became a guide, me. like I said, about 13 and a half years, I've always really, really looked up to you. I think you do it the right way. You have such a great reputation here on the west coast of Florida. Absolutely a pleasure fishing with you today. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. What we've been doing is just out here working the edge of this bar. You can see around me, we got all kinds of just littered potholes and sand potholes. We've got a drop off up here and the bait's just really stacked in. So we've got all kinds of trout, jacks, ladyfish, snapper, just a whole variety of species up here feeding. And it's just been really a great morning. I mean, we've caught a lot of fish, the action is great. We're just having a wonderful, wonderful time out here with our good friend, Captain Rick Grasset. Did I tell you what I had the guy stop me the other day? He says, hey, I watch your TV show. I said, well, thank you. He said, I didn't say I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a fish, nice fish there, Rick. What you got, a speckled trout? Another trout. Another trout. Speckled Another trout. trout oh, seems to be bump. coming in this little bit deeper water. This like yeah, five, little six cooler, foot water. You know? yeah. Cormorant's on me, so I got to keep this trout away from this bird. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> a jumper, too. <laughs> he whacked it. What, you got a jumping blue fish? Oh, 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 oh. A jumper. <laughs> Let me tell you what, that, 
that bait came to a screeching halt right now. <laughs> Woo! He might. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> nice fish, Mike. There is nothing wrong. No, sir. With some good old blue fish action. Come here. Come on. Man. <laughs> Just working that bait. Work it, work it, work it. Thump. Thump. <laughs> You're not Dude, moving that bait. Awesome, Unbelievable awesome fish. fish. All power right there. Dude, wow. we have caught a pile of fish today and what Ooh. a bunch of different species. Unbelievable. There we go. I'll catch bluefish all day long. Rick Grassa, thank you, sir. That is incredible. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. I'd like to give a special thanks to our good friend, Captain Rick Grassett. Rick, thank you so much. You put us on everything today. I mean, the flats are alive down here from out on the beach to up in here on the inside. It was awesome, man. Absolutely a great day. We caught a pile. I wish we'd have kept counting on how many fish we'd caught because we caught a pile. Yeah, we did all day long. Great, great bite. Rick Grassett, thank you thanks, so much. Thanks, Captain Mike. Good, good stuff. If you're coming to the west coast of Florida, down here to Sarasota, you want to book a trip with Captain Rick Grassett, give us a call at 1-866-GAMEFISH. We'll hook you up. For more great fishing info, log on to the website, realanimalsfishingteam.com. Remember, you can follow Billy and I on Facebook at Facebook slash Real Animals. And until next week, do yourself a favor and take a kid fishing.